Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And today is Jay's birthday. Yay! So for her birthday, we're doing a tour of Las Isletas in Granada, Nicaragua. We're starting off in the Central Park here and we're going to take a horse ride down to the lake. Ah, muchas gracias. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Alex. Alex. Ah, mucho gusto. Mi, mi nombre es John. John y Jay. John y Jay. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Alex. Hoy es uh, el cumpleaños de Jay. Él es su cumpleaños. Sí. Él es su cumpleaños. Ah, oh, gracias. We'll be uploading a new video each week, so to get more great Nicaragua travel inspiration like this, don't forget to subscribe. We've been wanting to do this for nine months now, riding in a horse and car. It's a great day to do it on Jay's birthday. Yeah, it's a lovely day and lots of fun. A little bumpy, it's cool. Great way to get down to the Isletas. The horse and carriage ride from the Central Park of Granada to our boat at the Turistico Centro or Tourist Centre of Granada was a great feature of the tour and something we absolutely loved. When organising your tour, just double check if they drop you back in town afterwards. Otherwise, if you have to make your own way back, it's about a 20 minute walk. Lake Nicaragua is known by many names, including Lago Cosibolca, Lake Granada, Mar Dulce, Gran Lago, and Gran Lago Dulce. This freshwater lake is the largest lake in Central America and the 19th largest lake in the world. Granada sits on the shore of Lake Nicaragua and is only a 15 minute walk to the edge of the lake from the city centre. Luz's letters, or the islets in English, are a unique feature of Lake Nicaragua. These are a series of 365 small islands which formed 20,000 years ago as the result of a volcanic eruption from nearby Mumbacho Volcano. Luz's letters boat tour is the best thing to do in Granada, as rated by TripAdvisor. our first stop on our island tour. Uh, que es el, el uh, lugar? Castillo. Castillo. El Castillo. Uh, Fort Fortaleza? Sí. This place was known as the Fort of San Pablo and was built in the late 1700s. It was a defence against pirates who would travel up Lake Nicaragua from the Caribbean to plunder the riches of Granada. For the best views, be sure to climb to the roof of the fort. This fort has beautiful views over to Mombacho Volcano, as well as views of the city of Granada. While we were there, we had the unexpected treat of meeting the guy whose picture is on the 100 Cordova banknote. He's a super friendly guy and took the time to pose with his likeness for us. Tour and, and uh, city of Granada and her carriage. Wow. I recommend. It's very nice. Wow. Yeah. My picture, my match, my person. <laughs> yeah, people oh, say my person wants to call Mr. Bill. Ah, um, mucho gusto. Glad to meet you, friend. <laughs> Tell us, have a good day and Feliz Año Nuevo. Oh, yeah. Feliz, Feliz Nuevo. 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 <laughs> 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 okay. Amigo mío. Our tour guide told us that 80% of the islands are inhabited. We got to have a peek at islands owned by past presidents, Nicaraguan business moguls and expats. This island mansion is owned by Carlos Pelos Chamorro, Nicaragua's first billionaire and richest man. There are also fishing families who live amongst the islands and catch the fish to be served up back in the restaurants of Granada. 
space behind us. It used to be a hotel and it had three underground rooms. And it's got a helipad. Oh, a helipad. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And you may have missed um, an old president of Costa Rica lives in one of these islands. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our favourite island was Monkey Island. I can see monkeys! There are three monkeys that live here, Lucy, George and Pancho. They're used to humans visiting and peered out from their tree to see us when we arrived. Lucy even hopped onto our boat to say hello. Hello! No, no, no. no. Hello! Lucy! Adios, Lucy. Adios, Lucy. And gracias. And gracias. After about an hour and a half of touring around the islands, we came to an island that had a restaurant called Corriviento and a pool. So we've arrived at the restaurant, so we're going to have a swim here, maybe have something to eat. Should be nice. You can actually see Mombacho in the distance behind that tree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Vamos. We're currently at the restaurant, just relaxing and waiting for lunch. So we're going to have a pescado. Which is a fish dish. They've got various sizes, so we're going to have a, a big one that's big enough for two people to share. And there's a really nice pool here, which overlooks the water, a lot of cabanas, and it's just a really nice setting. Okay, it's time for a swim. It was lovely cooling off in the water while gazing at the views of the nearby islands. For us, there was only a couple of other groups at the restaurant while we were there, so it wasn't too crowded. We found a nice spot by the water and had a relaxing couple of hours enjoying the peacefulness of the area. Some people preferred swimming in the lake. But we found out later that there are sawfish, tarpon and even bull sharks in the lake. So we're glad we didn't go for a swim there. We shared a whole fish with sides, which was 700 Cordobas for the both of us. It's so yummy. Bon provecho. The fish was cooked to perfection and was absolutely delicious. Well, I smashed that. It was delish. The salsa was really nice as well. So I don't know what was in it, but it was beautiful. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we're finished with the restaurant now. Before we finished our tour, our guide had a birthday surprise for Jay. Back on shore, the birthday treats for Jay continued with a choco banana smoothie. Happy 
birthday to me. <laughs> We've just finished off the tour and we're on our way walking back to Granada. We're just walking along the lake here and if you are in Granada make sure you walk down to the lakeside. It's just a really pretty area. Uh, just be careful at night because apparently it gets a bit sketchy but during the day it's great. During the day it's lovely. Lots of people here picnicking and just relaxing. If you enjoyed this video please let us know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.